Can you tell us what the event's about today? So, uh, myself and uh, the other junior doctors from the Royal Walton Hospital are on strike today uh, because we are protesting against the uh, unfair new contracts that the government is trying to impose on all of the junior doctors that work in England. Um, there are a number of reasons why we are against the contract uh, and the most important reason is that the, current, the, the new contract is unsafe. So um, we as doctors feel uh, it is our responsibility to be uncompromising on um, aspects of patient safety. If you think that the, uh, the new system that the government wants to impose on us um, will lead to all of us being very tired and overworked and will lead to very unsafe conditions not only for ourselves but also for our patients and that's something that we're really not prepared to compromise on and that's why the junior doctors throughout the country have been going on strike. For the general public who don't quite know what all this, um, all the contract changes are about, uh, can you just briefly explain what, what kind of what what the changes are and what the implications are. Okay, so there are, um, there are a number of things that the government would like us to do. The first thing is um, they want to implement a seven day service. Now, um, all doctors are very keen on the idea of a seven day NHS that is fully funded and fully staffed. But Jeremy Hunt and the other government politicians want to deliver on this manifesto promise that they have, which we think is very commendable. However, they do not want to employ any more staff or put any more money into the NHS, which leads to a very overstretched and overworked system, which is going to be very unfair and unsafe for our patients. They also want to remove a number of the safeguards that are in place to help protect doctors and patients from these unsafe and unfair situations. Now, removing those safeguards essentially allows trusts to um, organise whichever rotors they see fit and makes it a lot more easy for uh, these unsafe and unfair conditions to be put in place and that will lead to, um, again, very safe, unfair and unsafe uh, working conditions for junior doctors. What would you say to the general public and the people of Bolton today and to, uh, to um to, to try and win their support? So, um, what I would say to the, the people of Bolton is that uh, we as doctors are the people who will be there for you when you're at sort of the darkest times of your life. Um, we, are, we are there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, whenever you have any emergency that requires any sort of medical assistance in the hospital and um, in order for us to continue to give that and provide that service for you and your families we need to ensure that we're in a situation that is safe. What's the next course of, course of action? So uh, on the 26th and 27th of April there will be a escalated full walkout by junior doctors. That will mean that there will be no junior doctors staffing anywhere in the hospital. At present Today there are junior doctors who are staffing the intensive care unit, the maternity unit and the A&E department. So on the, 27th and the, 28th, uh, the 26th and 27th of April it will be staffed solely by the nursing staff and the consultants. That will mean that if you're still ill you can still go to hospital and you will still be seen, however you will not be seen by junior doctors.